Hello, my name is Daniel Downey Haley, and I'm here to present to you another Wow Woman Worship moment. Um, so before I get into the moment, I would like to say that this is something I've been praying about for a really long time um, in my own personal life, looking at things, um, uh, especially pertaining to forward movement, not feeling stuck or stagnant in your relationship with God and also just in the trajectory of your life. And so as I've been in prayer about that, the Lord gave me an illustration um, from my own life. So last month I talked about plants and this month I'm also going to use a natural anecdote because that's how the Lord gave it to me. I had this plant that my grandmother had given me and I moved it from a really sunny spot to a more shady spot. I moved it back and forth trying to get the plant to flourish. Um, it finally ended up in a corner in a window. And life went on and something happened and the plant got knocked over. Um, and I was like, oh no, my plant's gonna die. Um, it was really sad for a second. Put everything back together, watered it. And lo and behold, a couple weeks later, it seemed as though the plant had died. And all there was left was the bulb or the root of the plant. And so me being a busy mom, I just left it um, where it was. I cleaned up everything and I said, well, you know, I want to keep the pot even though the plant in it was no longer flourishing. So time goes on. Uh, seasons passed. It had been about two years since I seen any anything on the plant and I decided to clean out that corner and take everything and put it on the porch which is where the most sunlight is in my house um, and a couple weeks later what amazed me was that uh, the plant started to bloom it started to sprout leaves and it started to flourish without any intervention on my behalf and I was really amazed by that and I asked God, you know, as I was praying about my life and feeling stuck, feeling very um, stagnant, I said, Lord, what does this mean? How does this relate to my life? And the following explanation is what the Lord gave me. Um, I thought that in its state, the plant was dead and sometimes in my own life, I feel like there are things um, that are not moving they're they're dormant they're not blossoming however it's very important to know that even if you cannot see immediate results that does not mean whatever is going on is not still garnishing uh, nourishment it's not still um, adding something to itself it's not still drawing nutrients or um, being productive just because you cannot see the uh, result in that moment that's very important because I think we get stuck and we get um, fixated on what we see with our eyes or see happening around us and we are not intentional about asking God what is really going on. So that was the first point that you really have to be intentional when you are in a season where you feel dry, barren, you feel like you're not bearing fruit, you feel like you're stuck or stagnant, that you're asking God what is going on in this environment. Um, because it could be that God is refining you and um, taking you through an experience that is not going to produce uh, beautiful things, but will produce something much deeper, something more rich, and will give you um, fuel for the coming seasons. Um, that was the first point. The second point is I grew up in an environment where you were very, you were often told to bloom where you were planted. And I think that old adage is true. However, in spiritual, in the spiritual realm, that's not always true. Sometimes God uh, will move locations when the season is right. So you have to really be intention, intentional about where you are in your spiritual walk with God, because um, where you are located, meaning your relationship to God, will um, dictate how you bloom um, and that seems really fancy but what I'm saying is if you are in fellowship communication um, connection with God he can 
show you where you need to be, how you need to be, what you need to do. Um, and it won't be dicta dictated by anyone else um, but only by God. Because God is the one who designed you in such a way that he knows exactly what you need to bear fruit, to blossom, to flourish. Um, and so I really would encourage you ladies um, right now, if you feel like you are in a place where you feel um, barren or stuck or confused or unaware or any of those things that keep us um, isolated, um, or in a state of disarray or over concerned or anxious or worried if you're in one of those states that the, the number one thing you need to do is get connected to God whether that's through prayer fasting reading the word um, surrounding yourself by a body of believers to help encourage you whatever it is that you need to do to um, get in connection with God do that because that is what is going to give you um, the illumination that's what's going to give you the answers to those questions and so um, with that being said I want to encourage you ladies that number one you have to be very intentional about the season you're in and number two you want to get that information from God because there's sometimes uh, you might not see it but God knows um, so with that I just want to encourage you ladies to continue or whoever's watching to continue to be in relationship and fellowship with God, continue to do um, that part, which is your part, um, to be in relationship with Him, and to not be so focused on what you perceive as a lack, um, because God knows all things and can use those things to bring about beauty and bring about life. Um, I hope that you're encouraged. Have a blessed night.